What is up my mates of YouTube, my name is Ozzy Marcel and in today's video we're going to be looking at Yo Pom. It's a classic men's fragrance but I've noticed that an older video of mine where I looked at this fragrance is doing really well in my analytics and I really dislike that video so I thought I would do a more updated one, a more modern one and recommend five other fragrances to wear instead of this one. It's an outdated fragrance now. I still love it but a lot of people do not want to wear this one these days but they're still interested in checking out similar scents. So, if that sounds good to you, let's get into the video. Now, I'm not going to include this as one of the official fragrances in the list, but Gia Original smells almost identical to Yo Pom, and it even has like the notes on the back of it. Uh, Gia Original, a timeless fragrance, spicy and oriental with fresh citrus top notes, a warm and balmy floral heart with a toasted cinnamon and musk base. If you like Yo Pom but you only want to spend less than $5, definitely consider checking this one out. I think it smells quite nice. It's a little fresher than Yo Pom, which would probably make it more appealing to a lot of people, but it essentially smells identical to it. So definitely check this one out if you're after this, but a little fresher and more of a body spray, you know, maybe if you're a little younger and you can't budget a, a $30 fragrance. Okay, so the first fragrance we'll be talking about today is Mont Blanc's Individuel. This is a fantastic smelling fragrance in my opinion. The performance is nowhere near as good as Yo Pom. You're looking at like a 24 hour plus scent here. This one lasts about seven to eight hours with four sprays. I will never overspray, but with this one you can afford to overspray a little bit. It isn't so strong, but it smells very similar to Yo Pom. It's just fresher and smells, it smells more like um, fabric softener, if that makes sense. It is a beautiful, fresh smelling, interpretation of the Yo Pom DNA. And I do want to clear that up quickly with you guys. It is pronounced Yope, not Jupe. Although if somebody actually called this Jupe, I wouldn't correct them for it. But if they come into the comments and start telling me, oh, it's pronounced Jupe. I'm like, no, it's not. Wolfgang Yope, the creator of the Yope brand, his name is Wolfgang Yope. So just respectfully clearing that one up for you guys. But back to Mont Blanc's Individuel. I picked up these for like $35 or $45 each and at that price, even though it's more expensive than Yo Pom, it is a much more mass appealing fragrance. It's a lot fresher, it's a lot more wearable. I mean, you could really chuck this one on in the warmer weather and nobody would blink an eye. Whereas, try wearing Yo Pom in a stinking hot summer's day, you're gonna stink out rooms and you are gonna get people just ripping your head right off. So maybe don't do that with this, but you could probably get away with it with this one. Next up, we have Mont Blanc, another Mont Blanc fragrance. I didn't realize that till just then, but two Mont Blanc fragrances here. This is Emblem. This is a little more dissimilar to Yo Pom, but it's got a similar sort of sweetness. Really nice bottle design here. It's woodier, it's still very sweet. It still has that cinnamon vibe as well. It just doesn't smell like Dr. Pepper or cough syrup. I'm actually going to spray this one on a tester strip. A little fresher, more ozonic. It's just a great alternative to Yo Pom. You only need two sprays of this one. It's a very strong fragrance. But it's quite nice, it's sweet. It's a touch on the fresher side than Yo Pom. Definitely worth checking out because at that like $60 price point, it's pretty easy to recommend. Performance for Mont Blanc Emblem is really good as well. We're looking at about nine hours with three sprays. Um, Emblem Absolute is a sweeter fragrance again. It's like another level of sweetness above this. It's sweeter, woodier, and that fragrance lasts, I don't know, like 12 hours with three sprays. It's very strong. But this is a lot cheaper, easier to find, and I think it's a good sidestep from Yo Pom. More of a side grade, if that makes sense. Next up, we have Burberry Brit for him. This fragrance smells like musk sticks. It shares a lot of the characteristics of Mont Blanc's Individuel and Yo Pom, except at about the $50 Australian price point. It's going to appeal to the same type of people that Yo Pom would appeal to. It's got more of that old school masculine charm to it. This fragrance, I'm gonna use this on a tester strip. 
similar sort of sweetness with that musk quality, but it's like musk sticks, not like an animalic musk. It's unique, it's got that clean vibe from Mont Blanc Individuel. Generally a little cheaper than the Mont Blanc Sense as well. This is another solid option if you're after a cleaner, fresher take on Yo Pom. I think this one doesn't get spoken about enough. I bought a bottle of this when I was at university and I completely forgot about it. But when I, the first thing I thought of when I smelt this again was like, oh, I, I used to wear that at university. So it's a bit of a nostalgic scent for me. I think this is really good for compliments as well. It's gonna make you stand out from the crowd and that is always a good thing as well when it comes to fragrances. Next, we have one that I disliked for a long time, but it's, it's grown on me and that is Black Excess by Paco Rabanne. This fragrance is on a similar level of sweetness to Yo Pom. It's just a reformulation of that classic Black Excess. It's got patchouli, strawberry, it's a little woody, awesome bottle design. I used to prefer the original, but the sort of the lighter style bottle of this one is great as well. I love the way it smells. It's not as good as the original, let's clear that up straight away, but it is of a similar sweetness to Yo Pom. And at like 50 to $55 Australian for the 100 ml bottle of this, that is very good value. It's better value than like 1 million, which still costs well over $100 for a bottle here in Australia. Black XS will always have a spot in my heart, even though they've reformulated it and butchered it in comparison to the original, it's still a, a very attractive men's fragrance. Sweet, and that patchouli really stands out and separates this from a lot of the other sweet men's fragrances on the market. Performance is surprisingly solid as well at about eight hours with two sprays. And last but not least, we're gonna be looking at Prada Lunarosa Sport. Lunarosa? Lunarosa? Correct me in the comments. This one, is probably the classiest fragrance on the list, and it is also the most expensive fragrance on the list at generally above $80 Australian for the smaller 50 ml bottle. This has a really punchy, bright vanilla note. Fresh, clean, it's got vanilla. It's almost got like that laundry detergent fabric softener vibe as well. Performance, with three sprays, you're getting about eight hours. As far as compliments go, this is going to be the fragrance on this list that's going to get you the most positive attention. Prada just has this way of making fragrances that smell fantastic and perform just as well. This, even though it's on the pricier side for a men's fragrance, at least as far as designer scents are concerned, you really get what you pay for with the quality of that vanilla. It's a little aromatic, it's got this bright citrus vibe, creamy vanilla. It's like a more mature version of Pacaraban's Phantom, if that makes sense. Anyways, as much as I love Yo Pom, and as nostalgic of a fragrance as it is for me, it's time in the sun is unfortunately over, and there are better, more modern fragrances that you can recommend in its place. I love this fragrance. I have fond memories of it. I always will. It just reminds me of high school. And if you've got any great Yo Pom memories, let me know in the comments below. This was once a clubbing powerhouse. If you've got any great alternatives to this one, drop them in the comments below as well. And until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and I'll catch you guys around.